On this episode of Road Dirt, we road trip a 2022 Yamaha Tenere 700. Stay tuned. with Road Dirt and this is the 2022 Yamaha Tenere 700 or as, as they pronounce it in the Tureg language, a Bedouin tribe in Africa, um, Tenere. I had to find that out for myself how to really pronounce it. The Tenere 700 and um, we've actually had this for a little over a month now and we've got it to the end of June so they've given us to, they've, Yamaha has given it to us for a couple of months for us to re ride in review and when they gave it to us they kitted it out with um, uh, these fa fantastic um, Yamaha accessory hard bags, uh, a complete luggage rack, uh, these engine guards here, uh, a larger skid plate so it is kitted out for touring so we picked it up and we're like we got to tour this thing. So that's kind of what we're getting ready for. I'm actually been filling the bags and getting things ready and, and, a, and a, a top bag of my own to mount right here because I'm going to try to do about a four day road trip on it. I carved out a little bit of time and just kind of do a big loop up in North Georgia, um, stay with some old high school friends and, and uh, just see the mountains. It's early June. It's not getting super hot every day yet, but that'll be coming later. So I figured this would be a great time just to do a road trip on it. So um, I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a rundown of the bike. It's been around for a couple of years now. It's a, I think they first debuted in 2019. And the, um, the big brother of it, the Super Tenere, um, is uh, between the two of them, they are both fantastic mid-size and larger size, full-size adventure bikes. And um, it's got, it runs a 689cc inline twin. It's the same power plant that's in the MT-07 and in the new R7 sport bike that's making such a big hit in um, Moto America's, uh, um, their Twins Cup class. And um, it's, it's, it's got a bit of a tall, it's, it's one of the taller seats I've, I've been on, one of the taller suspensions and seats that I've ridden on in the few adventure bikes that we've gotten to evaluate. It's a 34 and a half inch seat height, which for a short guy like me, is, is a little bit of a challenge. Uh, anybody like 5'9 and taller is not going to have any, any problem with it. And uh, it's got about a 9.5 inch ground clearance as well. And, uh, but I tell you, for, as far as a, a, a touring bike, it's got a little over 4 gallon tank. And just riding it around, we've been able to get about 220 miles on a tank of gas. So touring it, we're just a lo long days in the saddle you know, at steady speeds and things like that, uh, we might even be able to do a little bit, a little bit better than that. And um, the wet weight of the bike, you know, fully fueled, fully um, flu fluid and everything, weighs um, about 452 pounds before you add luggage and things like that. So, um, and it carries that weight kind of high. So, you know, typical adventure bike, um, it's, it's a, it can be a little bit of a challenge for shorter riders, but, um, this one, I just love how they've kitted it out for us. We're getting ready to, to make that trip, and I'm excited, looking forward to you know, getting out on the open road with it. One of the things that, that I find interesting about the Yamaha Tenere 700 is also what it doesn't have. I mean, there are no rider modes, um, no traction control, multi-level traction control settings, no electronic suspension settings that can be done on the fly, things like that. It's got ABS, of course it's fuel injected, but it's got ABS on and off. Very simple, basic machine. And um, I think that's kind of the appeal of it as well, because the rider, you know, you're the traction control, you're the wheelie lift mitigation control, you know, you're the, uh, um, the throttle control, things like that. You're the rider mode. 
you choose how you're going to ride this thing. And um, I think that's kind of the appeal of it, or one of the appeals of it. And uh, plus the fact that um, it's pretty affordable, just a little over 10 grand for a brand new one. And um, you're ready to roll. So we're looking forward to getting on the road with it. Out here on the open road, the Tenere 700 really handles great. It's, it's, a, it's a great adventure touring motorcycle. Emphasis on touring. Got a little over four gallons in the tank, plus reserve. And uh, gosh, I think I'm easily going to be able to do 200, 225 or more miles. Because uh, just got long legs. Great adventure tourer. I love the North Georgia foothills. So relaxing to be up here. I mean, they're not tall, majestic, breathtaking, just soothing and relaxing and beautiful to ride through. Man, I could live up here. Such beautiful countryside. And I'm on a great bike to do it. This bike will go anywhere. If, any, if I hit at any time gravel or dirt, I'll just keep on rolling. Good stuff. Got in some rain, leaving Hiawassee. Man, for a while, when I first got up here, it was so thick I couldn't see 30 feet, 30 yards rather, in front of me. It's like I rode into a cloud bank. I've been in and out of it for a while now. I mean, the rain's fine. The bike tracks great through the rain, even without a rain mode as a as a as a rider mode. But uh, Man, I gotta be careful, you know, on these slick roads. I don't know how long the rain has washed away any flotsam and jetsam on the roads, but gotta be careful up here. Tight curves, wet surface, um, unpredictable conditions. Not only the fog, but rain keeps hitting me from time to time. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a while until I get out of this out the other side. Woo! Even in the rain, wow, it's still beautiful up here. And the bike's handling great. I'm feeling confident on it now that I've kind of got past some of the heavier and thicker stuff up near the top behind me. But, uh, man, the bike just tracks true. Pirelli tires on it are great. And, uh, man, for just a, a simple basic bike without all kinds of rider aids and traction control and things like that, although it does have a switchable ABS on and off, it's real confidence inspiring. It's a very simple, basic, elemental adventure bike. Yep, great motorcycle. So there you have it, road tripping a 2022 Yamaha Tenere 700 up in the North Georgia mountains. Only had a few days, um, but got a few hundred miles in and uh, got in a lot of different conditions. Had beautiful weather like part of the ride home here. Um, got in some rain, some fog, got in some cloud cover. Um, had one little mishap with the bike on a dead-end uphill gravel road, but that's another story for another day. Um, in all, 
I really enjoy this motorcycle. I mean, it, there is a lower seat I've found out for it that you can order off of the uh, Yamaha catalog for this bike, which I would probably buy if I got something like this, if I picked up one that brings it a little bit lower here so I can plant my feet maybe a little more securely. Um, but it's also got a rally seat for people that are taller that want to be up on top of the bike a bit more. So uh, a lot of different options in the OEM catalog on their website, and you can click into it from you know, the pages that uh, have the, the Tenere 700. Um, the thing I think I really like most about it is what it doesn't have. I mean, it's, as we've said before, all the electronic rider aids that we've come to expect and come to, you know, appreciate in many of the modern motorcycles. Uh, aside from a switchable ABS, you can turn it off uh, or you can turn it on. This is just turn it on, pop it in gear, and take off. It's a no frills, do everything, go everywhere, um, you know, road bike and dirt bike. And um, everything you need, nothing you don't. So, hey Sammy. So anyway, um, I would recommend going to the website, check out the uh, Tenere 700, and on the website, all the specs, details, dimensions, things like that. Um, find one at your local Yamaha shop and um, you can give that a look and get a test ride on it as well. And we'd love to know what you think. Leave a comment down below in the comment section. Uh, subscribe to us if you would as well. Ring the bell also so that you'll get notifications when we post new videos up and things like that. You can also find us um, on the web. We're at RoadDirt.TV. That's our main motorcycle magazine page, our e-magazine as we call it. We've got three social media channels, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can find those. They're simply called Road Dirt TV, kind of like this YouTube channel. They're called Road Dirt TV, whereas the website is RoadDirt.TV. Yeah, we think we're pretty clever in that. Um, we've also got a podcast, uh, the Road Dirt podcast on Anchor, but it's also on Spotify and Apple and all the other platforms that carry it. Speaking of platforms, if you're on Spotify and you've got a Spotify channel, look up um, Road Dirt Classics, that's a Spotify playlist that we have. It's about 25 hours worth of music or so um, for out on the open road. Stuff that we like, stuff that you guys like that a lot of y'all have, uh, have sent in to us. And um, so check that out as well. Well, until next time, this is Rob with Road Dirt. Ride life.